All right, guys, let's watch this and talk about it after. You're a nice guy. Thank you. A nice guy. I've really, you know, passed through a lot in my life. If I had good opportunity, I wouldn't have ever lived the, the lifestyle I'm living. But if good thing comes my way, I will stop. I will stop because when I look at people who really do not have, you know, yeah. and I know that that was the environment I grew up, we don't get school self and no go. All this is what I just do now because I forced myself to go to secondary school. I had to suffer. I sold on the street. I hawked. I did a whole lot. Everything will be fine. All right? Now, speaking of which, there's this thing I've been thinking about and I want to run it by you, you know, so you tell me what you think. I, um, I'm thinking of starting a charity organization. People really help people. Yes. Oh. Now, I know that I might not be able to do that alone. And so I've decided to source for sponsors and partners, you know, to help. I want to help the less privileged. I want them to gain access to the good life, to good health care facilities, you know, at least two square meals a day, like basic amenities. You don't finish. If you do this thing, eh, nothing will you want for this life. What am I not going to do for you? If you, if you do this thing, I'm not going to go to the street again. I know I am not go this street. I go find something they do. I need your help. I just see the way where they look at they look at they look at Will I say don't they like her? Yes, I like her, and that is the more reason you should respect her. I don't feel respect them. Abia's sister-in-law. And sister-in-law no feel respect brother's wife. I even get the right to beat them safe. I get the right to beat them where, where, where. I don't feel respect them now. Not be with the Mariam. Not with the Mariam. She's supposed to come down for us, to meet herself for us. So now you say the thing what I put for her. No, no, don't nah, worry. No, don't worry. We go, we go flying. You say, want us to carry and go inside go? Yes, your room. Oh, no, her room. Okay, for her room. She never get room for her. Mm -hmm. Like this now, everything don't set. Just run and fast, fast. I have the money what I pay you. No be in vain and do this for a while. Well, I don't know what I do. I'm not operating the end. What the? Leave my house, Akwe. Akwe? Johnny? Go open the for him. All right, guys, so let's talk about this one, Child's Game. The reason why I feel like this would be an important movie to discuss is that it's something that kind of creeps up in every family. When a guy brings a girl that he's interested in home to his family, there's usually a lot of things that he tells the family. Oh, she's this, she's this kind of person. She does this for a living or she used to do this. She's still in school. Whatever her story is, you tend to tell. And you tell it because you are okay with it. You see, when you meet somebody... Regardless of the circumstance, but of course we know that with guys, they tend to marry down. So there's a big chance that you as the guy, that you're definitely at a better place than the girl. That's just, you know, based on statistics. I'm not saying that the other way around is not the case. It, you know, it could always also be the case. But for the most part, you know, when a man meets a girl, usually they married down so they would meet somebody that they are really better than and when that's the case you tend to see that maybe something about her life is not as good which is why they are still probably down there right and you know you are you're okay with it as a guy you're okay with it you know you like their character you like the kind of personality they have you maybe their attitude is you know, perfect, whatever it is that makes you like them, you know, and whatever it is that you don't like, you that you probably weighed and it's, you know, it's outweighed by the things that you like, you know, they're all there. But the thing is this, 
when you go to introduce this person to your family, you have to be mindful of what you tell your family about this person that you're interested in. Because there's things that you would overlook, but your family wouldn't. It could be something as simple as that they maybe had an abortion in the past. You know, maybe one abortion, you know, you're like, ah, well, it's one abortion in your head. Probably people have done one or two abortions for you too. So you're okay with the fact that she only did one, you know, something like that. But your family might not be okay with even her doing any abortion whatsoever. So if you go and tell them something like this, of course, you are saying these things at a happy time, so you are, you are feeling like, you know, if you're okay with it, your family should be. It doesn't always work out like that. So, you know, my recommendation is, you know, if there's something bad or something not so cherry about the person that you are bringing home to the family, it's always better not to go and, you know, discuss that with the family. You know, especially when you know the kind of place you come from, you know, uh, there's always things that you already know as a family, you know, you guys despise. So uh, even if you're willing to accept it from a partner, the family might not. Now, keep in mind, even if they do accept the person, the fact that they now know this thing about them, it's something that they could bring up later in the future and still use it to haunt her or to taunt her, you know. So definitely keep some of these things away. As long as you know it's not cherry, you, you're going to know that it's not. So it's not like you're wondering, you know, ah, how did they even turn and use this thing against her? You already know it would be something not so cherry. So keep it away, you know, keep it to yourself. She probably told you in confidence because something like, you know, the example that I gave with an abortion, she probably could have not told you and you would never know, right? You know, except if something down the line pops up and maybe for some reason she can't have a child or whatnot and then it comes up that she did an abortion in the past. But for the most part, Many of these things could be kept, you know, under the, swept under the bed and, you know, you will never know about it. So if she does well to tell you, which is the right thing to do, if it's not something threatening or something you already know you're okay with, then, you know, keep it to yourself. Keep it to yourself so that your family members will not let her use it against her. Because at that point, it's still going to hurt you. You know, it's going to hurt you because, you know, you love this lady. You're okay with that particular defect or whatever it is. And here somebody goes using it against her. Now, that's just the lesson that we need to take from this. Uh, if there's something about your partner um, that you learned in secret or you learned just based on two of you being five or six, don't go sharing it with your family. Don't go. Don't Even if it's your twin brother or your twin sister, Keep that thing to yourself because one day they're going to pull it and use it against her, you know, and you are not going to be happy because you are going to be the one that gave out that thing. So that's it for this one, guys. If you love this kind of content, please like, share, subscribe, follow. This is CJ from McNally Studios and I'm here to deliver sense.